What is going on guys? I'm Eli Lesser with the 110 Football Show and welcome to another episode of Eli's MLS Player Spotlight. Today we are joined by Portland Timbers goalkeeper Hunter Solt. Hunter, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. Just enjoying the sun right now in Portland. No, absolutely. So first of all, I got to point this out immediately. When people first see you, they must see your height. You are six foot seven. I got to ask, why are you not in the NBA? I, I did play basketball when I was younger up in Alaska, but I was a lot smaller, so I, I wasn't very good. I didn't love basketball that much, but now since I'm older, I'm bigger than most kids, so I can kind of bully some kids in the paint a little bit. I definitely enjoy a lot more, but I wish I had the NBA skill. That would have been really cool. Yeah, no, awesome. So you mentioned that you're from Alaska. Being from Anchorage, Alaska, how did you get into soccer? Um, I've always had a pretty big passion for soccer. I actually, I took a little break from when I was younger. Uh, I quit because I don't know if you remember, but the old like shin guards had like the huge ankle piece on them. Yeah. I'd always like throw a huge fit, putting them on. And I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm not going to play soccer for a little bit. So I changed sports and eventually I was like, you know what? I, I miss soccer. Let's get back into it. And then finally my mom let me play again. Was there a certain player that you looked up to? Uh, I've always been a huge Neuer fan growing up. Yeah, no, it, it, it's it's funny you mentioned Neuer because he's obviously great with his feet. And being six foot seven, you actually are really, really good with your footwork. Uh, do you, do you where, where did that come from? Uh, it was definitely not like that before I came. Uh, Steve uh, Reese, my academy coach, he was, he was very big on working my feet and using my left foot as much as I can. And it got to the point where I could take my goal kicks left, right foot, it wouldn't really matter. Yeah, and you mentioned the academy. Uh, you, you played with the Portland Academy for a number of years before signing with the first team. How did you get to Portland in the first place? Uh, so it was actually from Reese. He was scouting me for a year up until I came, and he eventually made a trip out and did a little camp with ODP, some of the goalies. And it lasted about three days, and by the end of it, he gave me a pair of gloves and told me that he wanted me to join the academy. And I was ecstatic. It was always been a dream to go play for an academy. Yeah, and from the academy to the first team on May 1st, you made your debut against FC Dallas, and you actually you you broke a couple records just by participating. You were you were the tallest goalkeeper in MLS history to start, and also you became the second youngest at the age of 19 years old to start an MLS match. Just uh, what was making your debut like for you? It was crazy because. My pro debut for the USL was in front of Phoenix and there was a couple thousand there as well, but playing the MLS is completely different because the play is so much faster. There's many more fans. Yeah, I, I was ecstatic to go out there and uh, show my skill. Yeah. And you, you got to play two weeks in a row and that second week uh, you played in the big Cascadia Derby against the Seattle Sounders. Unfortunately, you guys did lose, but what did it mean for you to play in such a big match so early on in your career? Uh, it's always been a big thing because uh, so I used to be a Sounders fan when I first moved here. A lot of people in Alaska are. And so I've always known what the rivalry was. So I used to not like the Timbers going to old uh, Timbers versus Sounders game. I'd be rooting for the Sounders. But I eventually switched sides since joining the Timbers. I'm very glad I did because uh, they're a very welcoming family. But it, it was definitely a lifelong dream to go out and play against our rivals and see those and get, get in those fights with the other players. It, it, it's pretty fun, honestly, being out there. Was it hard to convert your friends from Sounders to Portland fans or was it pretty easy for them? Um, it's been pretty easy. They're all like, you know what? I'm gonna have to retire these Sounders jerseys. Since I have a friend who plays for the Timbers, I'm gonna have to start rooting for them. Yeah. Tell me why the Timbers are much better than the Sounders, just as an organization, team, everything. Well, it's pretty easy. We have a very good history. We won the MLS Cup first, the Forum. I, I think overall, we just have a lot better fans. The atmosphere in our stadium is amazing. In our city, it's just a great place to live. Yeah, so lastly, talking about Portland this season, unfortunately, you guys have dealt with some injuries that might have helped you get your debut. Um, but heading into this Wednesday against LAFC, a team that's kind of on the rise again, how do you think those injuries might play into it? It, it definitely made things a lot tougher for us, and our, our results kind of show. But as we have players come back in, 
our, our team looks really strong. And I'd say argu- arguably we have one of the best teams in the MLS right now once we're all recovered. Yeah, so LAFC actually in their last match had 29 shots. And as a goalkeeper heading into this midweek match, does that put any fright into you? Or do you think you could rise to the challenge or Steve Clark rise to the challenge? I think all goalies find uh, a lot of shots very exciting. And in like games for me, at least I'll be talking in my head. I'm like, all right, shoot on me. Let's, let's see who you got. And, and then uh, you just feel just the feeling of making a huge save or multiple saves. It's just, it's just unreal. And it gets you, it gets you fired up. So a lot of shots is always exciting. Of course we don't want them, but they're, they're exciting to deal with. Yeah. Well, Hunter, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me and best of luck Wednesday. Best of luck the rest of the season. Anyways, guys, I'm Eli Lesser with the 110 Football Show, and this has been Eli's MLS Player Spotlights.